In this video, I'll show you how to create a landing page with system.io. Hi, and welcome to this channel. After watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's dive straight into the video. I'll put the link in the description box. If you don't have an account, you can click on it and create an account. So first, you're gonna click on funnels, then click on create. All right, so you need to name your funnel. So I'll name it Affiliate MKT ebook. All right, because I want to promote free ebook in order to capture emails so I can promote offers later on. All right, so that's what I'm trying to do. Next, you need to choose your funnel domain. So by default, system will use your Gmail or your Yahoo email address name as your domain, but this is not good. For email marketing okay choose one of these four options you can choose to build an audience which is to collect email addresses and build your email list and this is what i need you can choose sell to sell a product or a service if you want to create custom website or custom landing page or squeeze page you can use this so this or this uh, okay but this one everything is built out for you you just have to edit so i prefer this one or you can run an evergreen webinar which is not what i need so i'll go with this choose your currency so you can choose us euro australian dollars and the list goes on but in most cases us dollars is the standard currency so i'll keep it the same then i'll click on create so after clicking on create you're gonna end up here all right, so I'll show you all the templates they have available. I'll just scroll down just so you can see. Just to give you an idea of all the templates they have. And these are good templates. I like the way they have it set up. Okay. These are all good. All right, so that's the end. And... Uh, this one is good, but let me see. There's another one here. This one too is good. And that one too, and this. So let me scroll down and check. So I'll preview this. Preview and see what's on it. It's not bad. All right, so I'll close this. And I'll select it. All right, so now I have it set up. All I have to do next is to edit it but straight up i don't need a thank you page so i'm gonna delete it are you sure you want to delete this under step confirm i don't want it okay so i'm gonna have only the squeeze page that's all i need all right so now i need to name it so next your url path so by default it's gonna use the domain name I've set up here already, which is uh, successpage.io. And the subdomain extension is this. So I don't want it. I'll change it to... Yeah, so I, I prefer this. All right, so next we need to save it. So up here, click save. Finester was saved successfully. So this is my subdomain name for this domain. So every time you create a page, you're going to have a, a subdomain for this domain. So next, we need to edit the page. So click on here. All right, so this is how the page looks like. And uh, so click on here. Then I'm going to reduce the font size a bit to 36. So I'll highlight everything. And I'll push it a bit closer. Okay, you can just type in whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to reduce the test more. So something like that. Okay, so right here, I'm going to change this one too. All right, so this, I'll leave it. But if you want to change something from here, you can just 
click inside and instead of name you can say enter first name then here you will say enter best address all right just so people know that they need to enter their best email address so here click on here so font size let's reduce because i can say yeah Okay, font size, right? So click on the button and the gear sign or the setting sign. So, action when button click, what do you want? So, next is you have send form, show pop up, open URL, next step, URL, and download file. In my case, I want to send them to form. Do you want to redirect user after contact? So after that, what do you want? If you have a thank you page, you can send them to the next step. But in this case, I want to send them to custom URL because I don't have a thank you page. Then I'm going to have to put my book link here. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. Click, then paste it you're doing affiliate marketing or promoting anything online you need your disclaimers all right so when that is done what you have to do next click on save changes please don't forget to do this okay if not you're gonna be in trouble so click save changes one more time then i'm gonna change the background i don't want it click here and background I like my landing pages to be plain then save preview boom this is what I want okay so let's close it all right so next so what I'll do, you can click here to set the auto rules, but I prefer to go back here, set rules, add rules, trigger, then find the form subscribe. Okay, so click on it, then choose the funnel. This is the funnel. And choose the final step page. So this is the final step page. So affiliate marketing ebook. And the final name is this one. So depending on the name of the funnel you have. So action. I want to add them to a tag. What's the name of the tag? It's called affiliate marketing. So everybody that subscribed through affiliate marketing will go through this tag. Go down, then you click save rules. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna add another rule. So add rule. Guys, as you can tell, my steps are done. Once they sign up, you want them to be placed into a specific tag, right? So let's check the funnel. So go here and view, all right? So this is the name. And this is what it is okay <clears throat> so I like my thing to be plain all right so they can enter their first name enter base email address but there's one more thing I would like to show you so go back to back to edit all right so the 
mobile optimization so click here and as you can tell everything is good so i don't even need to optimize anything all right but if that be the case you just go in or hover click and just reduce what you need to reduce and do what you have to do okay all right that's why sometimes you don't need too much test you need simple landing page all right like you can see like there's nothing for me to work on all right or the only thing is maybe i can just reduce this but there's no need so go back and uh so that's it and like i said this is uh the opt-in page something simple all right so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe to this channel